Welcome to Throttle Junkies! My name is David and today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions and unboxing of the Draggy. I saw a few videos posted up of a few different people doing some unboxing and just thought that I wanted to do a couple more tests. Maybe put it up against the uh, time to the drag strip and do a lot of side-by-side -side comparisons with how close it actually is, um, what it looks like out of the box, how the app looks, and what it's like kind of when you're driving around and using it in your car. First, I got this on Amazon. This is, I think, about $150 or so. Um, came pretty quick too, like two days shipping. So if this thing is, is as accurate as it seems like it's gonna be, that's a pretty good deal, especially if you don't live near a racetrack or anything like that, which here in Phoenix, it's kind of the case. We've got one, but you don't get but a few races a year, it seems like. Comes the draggy. Just kind of pops right out of the box there. Um, kind of a small little shape. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I like it. Um, got the little micro USB cable uh, to charge it up in your car and everything. Keep it going. Which I did see that these do have a battery built into them so you can charge them up and then you don't have to have it plugged into your car the entire time. Uh, it comes with two little metal magnetic plates. Um, so you can stick them and then put the mag, uh, the draggy wherever you want. Um, otherwise, we've got a uh, little manual here and that's about it. Um, I have already downloaded the draggy app. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, to get started, tap connect on the app and it will automatically connect. I'm guessing you may have to plug it in or something first. So we'll give that a... Uh, Give that a try here and and see. Let me get to the app. We'll take it from there. All right, so here is the Draggy app. Um, I have not charged it yet. See if it can connect. Oh, it does come with some battery on there. It's nice. Looks like it's going to tell us up here how much battery we have. Sending satellite data to Draggy, which by the way, I'm inside my house right now. I'm not out in the car, so it may not get great satellite, oh, which looks like it has pretty well. Uh, shows zero percent on the battery, so it's probably about to die. I didn't think it would come with too much in there. At least enough to get connected is nice. Um, What do we have? So it looks like Right off the bat, it's just going to start doing some readings and see what this button does. Report. Personal, I'm guessing this is where the personal bests are going to go and personal reports, leader reports. I'm not seeing anything now. Maybe I'm... Make sure I'm connected to the internet here. Leader down at the bottom brings up leader cars. What do we have here? Uh, Camaro SS, 1969, a Supra, Corvette, not really sure. Oh, zero to 60 shows down here at the at the bottom. I don't know if you can make that out. Uh, so we've got zero to 60. You can toggle between these down at the bottom. And then it shows the times. Looks like it breaks it down by uh, maybe brand of vehicle. Um, and then also kind of the, the market too. I'll click quarter mile times down there. The 689, that's pretty quick. Uh, we got the feed. What are we showing the feed? Okay, so this looks like where you'd post your videos of a rate where you do your quarter mile times or. Pretty interesting. me that's not me <laughs> let's see I think you can go in here and you can adjust it under edit maybe no okay take photo choose photo so we'll do that later I want to get into not super in-depth I mean if you guys buy one of these you'll be able to play with it and adjust all of your settings as well um, but just kind of want to get the basics here and everything, and then we'll go check it out in the car, and then we'll show you the drag strip as well, and 
kind of try and put this all in one video so that you get all the information you need. I guess that's where my videos will go once I take some. Yeah, so if you press this little plus button here, it looks like this is where you can check and have it start recording. If you hit this button, you'll be able to bring up the uh, different metrics that you can choose between um, and select what you want it to record uh, when you do your passes. Um, it looks like you can add the custom modes and, and be able to add specific metrics to be able to record if you want, say, a 0 to 27 miles per hour for whatever reason. Here it looks like this is where we'll be able to get in there for the camera. Um, be able to record our our passes so when we go down uh, the track now we'll be able to have the draggy and a couple gopros i will see you guys back out there in a minute and we'll be in the car and do some testing and see this in the real world so till then all right we're in the car now we're going to head on down to mexico We're going to put this thing on the road and see what it's like. All right, follow along. We'll see you guys shortly. All right, we are here in Mexico. We're going to do a pass on the draggy. We just have the device sitting right here. We're going to leave that there and connect and press record on the video. And then the draggy will just start recording the video as soon as we take off. It'll count the lights down so it looks like we're at the tree. Um, but it'll start doing the time to start recording our numbers just automatically. It kind of resets every time you come to a stop. Um, so that's a nice feature. You don't really have to do anything with it while it's on. It just will go and it'll shout out the numbers as you go. So let's uh, go do a pass by and make sure there's nobody around. And then we'll do a pass. All right, so I'm going to run the draggy. I'm just going to come to a complete stop. Hit record. We're just gonna do a short one here. And, and go. Draggy did a pretty good job, it looked like. We were able to get an eighth mile in before we had to back out because I don't want anybody pulling out of a spot there and us not being able to stop at all. Alright, so first impressions of the Draggy on the uh, street are pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's an easy device to use, it's very simple. Uh, anybody can figure it out right out of the box. There's really not much to it. Throw it on the dash, hit connect. We put it up against the uh, the real numbers at the drag strip the other night. We were over at Wild Horse Pass for the last Friday night drags of uh, 2018. Um, and it did pretty well. Pretty impressed. Uh, I'll show you that footage now. Alright guys, we're going to test the draggy. Reaction time, a 2.717 60 foot, a 6.965 330, eighth of a mile in 10.189 uh, at 78 miles an hour, and quarter mile at 15.18 at 97.71 miles an hour. You can compare it to what it said I ran here. So it said I ran a 15.12. Nine, 99.07 so about 1.3 miles an hour off and uh, about 0 
of a second off. So six hundredths of a second. So all together, fairly close. We'll go ahead and give it another run and see if we can get a little bit closer as advertised. So round two went a little bit better on the draggy. We've got 14.22 in the quarter mile on draggy at 101.83 miles an hour. And then on the time slip, we've got a 14.20 at 100.43 miles an hour. So we're about oh, exactly 1.4 miles an hour off. And we are off by at somewhere between one and two hundredths of a second, which is within advertised. So I'd say not too bad. broke a 14. We got 14. Oh, where'd it go? Got a 1401 on the draggy. Got a 1398. Trapped a slower speed than most of the other ones. Actually, it might, let's see, it might be the slowest speed. No, one exactly one mile an hour faster than my slowest mile per hour pass but the fastest quarter mile time out of all of them. I will take it because without a helmet I'm not supposed to run faster than a 14. See you guys later. Thank you guys for watching our review of the Draggy. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. It was a really fun device to use on and off the street and uh, it was uh, really pretty accurate. Uh, so if you're looking to get one of these, um, like I said, I'll put a link down in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for some other stuff that we're going to be doing. We'll have some other reviews of stuff here and there, but mainly we're going to be doing our uh, MR2 project to beat the uh, Coyote 5.0 that you see in the intro to this video, uh, along with a couple other things like donuts and coffee. You'll see that coming up pretty soon here and Will Schieber now. So make sure to stay tuned and uh, enjoy. Thanks.